figured out a way to bind us all up so we couldn't use our powers. That also meant they had to feed us, wash us, even wipe our goddamn asses. That's no way for a man to live. There's no way. They had this red-headed bitch there, really into needles and scalpels. She called what she did to me tests. But if you do enough time, you learn a few tricks. You just gotta be patient. Sooner or later, they'll screw up. And they always do. You maybe see something or you hear something, learn things you weren't supposed to know. So when that bitch put the three of us in that wagon, I knew what was coming. A golden opportunity. I saw you. Poking around inside my head. It was me, I thought that was you. You saw it, right? That DUP prison. If she catches you, that's where you're going. Wait, wait, wait! I'm warning you, kid. Back off! I'm not going anywhere until you fix this! Listen, I don't know what happened, but you better be ready to disappear! Why? You're a conduit now, kid. A bioterrorist. Welcome to the world of Run For Your Life. And that's what I aim to do, even if I gotta go through you. I didn't ask for this! Anywhere until you fix this. This ain't something that can be fixed. Then see how to control it. Ain't got time. Then you be coming. And she knows I'm on to a plan. Get us both killed! This fire's only gonna buy two, three minutes diversion tops! I gotta get now! Ain't going back to Curtin K! Yeah, well... Whoever's coming is coming for you, man, not me! You've been seen, son! Folks here know about you! She's got a way of making people talk! Good luck, kid! Oh, hell no! No way I'm gonna die in a fish guttery! Just let me go! Just let me walk away! Nobody's ever got to know about any of this. Wait a minute! Stop! Let's talk about this! Oh, Henry. I am so very disappointed in you. Well, we got him, right? I, uh, flushed that mean old... Especially you, guys. Bioterrorist. Henry Daughtry. I was a bioterrorist. A conduit. Traitors who sympathize with their cause. You're not a traitor, are you? I, uh, I try not to be. <laughs> you seem nervous. No, I'm not nervous. <laughs> it's been my experience. There are only two reasons for people to be nervous. Either they're cowards, or they have something to hide. Well, you know, I still get nervous around pretty girls. You were in there with that bioterrorist for some time. Did he share anything with you? Share. Did he say anything to you? It's about conspiracies. Oh, um, no, he didn't. He didn't share anything. Good. That's good to hear. You see, with these bioterrorists, and it's my job to do 
Whatever it takes. What? That's kind of funny because... Aren't you a bioterrorist too? Okay. Yes, I am. Sometimes you have to fight fire with fire. And it's clear now that you're not a coward, which means there's something that you're not telling me. What are, you, what are you doing? You can't do this, you crazy! I've got rights! And I have the legal authority to suspend those rights whenever I feel it's necessary. Like now, for instance, I'll ask again. What happened in there? And I will tell you again. God! <laughs> I'm told that hurts. Maybe I know what happened no, there! No! Betty, don't! Really? Still nothing. Well, unless you decide that you do have something to tell me, I'll go chat with that nice old lady. But you should know, concrete is especially hard on brittle bones. And if she doesn't talk, I'll just move on to the next one, and the next, until I find someone who does. So do you have something you want to tell me? Or do you prefer that I move on to your friends here? So. Yes. And I have no further use for you. Ah! Hope you're not as stubborn as that one. Are you, Betty? Ah! Ah! Yeah, I'm told that hurts. <laughs>